Eating a freshly fried egg at 10 a.m. is one of the ways I indicate to myself I am experiencing a day without compelled paid labor. I've called in sick and it's warm, the sky's blue. People say the light is different in California, but I've been here all my life. People say you can measure the size of raindrops by looking at the colors in a rainbow, but I've never tried. I carry my symptoms to the pole past the metropole among the milk chuggers, waist deep in marsh muck. The bell rings as the waters rise over the base, which is what generates the winds with the flows and with the floods. The design of the workspace is half open office, half congealed bone and guts. The population is assembled and made to produce a surplus. The shocks are absorbed by unnamed unfortunates, and these students are driving Teslas. In Black Jacobins, I read what I'd only seen previously epigraphed. The rich are only defeated when running for their lives. This is the building song the writing can't replicate, the rush which draws the course, subprime subjects shellacked into liquid lives. Every day I am covered in water tw twice and also uncovered twice. Sometimes I rebel against the slop and treat myself to a salad. The cat and I listen to Philip Glass. The cat is alone, like the house and the Honda. Our transaction is fulfilled in symbolic form. We are strangers to each other. The ATM will ship money if you know what numbers to tell it. As any shipping container, leasing displacement, as any colonial condo, they build prisons on fallow fields because there had been drought. Because there had been drought, fires spread wildly. They use the labor of the people they imprison to fight fires because they built cages where the crops would not grow on drought land. I tell my brother it's slave labor. He says, if they choose to fight fires, that's their choice. I ask my mom how he got that way.